ما بنطول عليكم وي وي ار انتروديوسينج اور ثيرد سبيكر ضيفنا التالي يعد مثالا لشباب دولة الامارات الطموح القادر على الانتاج فهو بالاضافة لتمثيله الشارقة في المحافل الدولية حاملا معه هويتها المترسخة في التعليم والابتكار والثقافة قام سعادته بالتأسيس والاستثمار في العديد من الشركات الناشئة ويفتخر مركز شراع بكون سعادته من أهم الداعمين له منذ اليوم الأول لإطلاقه وحتى اليوم رحبوا معي بسعادة الشيخ فاهم بن سلطان القاسمي الرئيس التنفيذي لدائرة الشارقة للعلاقات الحكومية And now we'd like to welcome on stage the diplomat putting Sharjah on the map of international affairs, spreading its message of education, innovation, and culture around the world. A great supporter of Shira since the day one, and a serial entrepreneur and angel investor himself. Please join me in welcoming His Excellency, Sheikh Fahim bin Sultan bin Khalid Al Qasimi. Executive Chairman of Sharjah's Department of Government Relations. Your Highness. Bismillah, salat salam al Rasulullah. Your Excellency. Your Excellencies, the ever so inspiring Mohammed Al Abbar, ladies and gentlemen, I was going to give a prepared speech, but after Najla's speech and Mohammed Al Abbar's speech, I thought I'd change my tune. On behalf of the Sharjah government, welcome to the Sharjah Entrepreneurship Festival 2018. An important event for entrepreneurs, an important event for Sharjah, an important event for the United Arab Emirates, and an important event for the world. Nejla called me three weeks ago and uh, she said, Fahim, will you speak at Seth? And the thought sort of struck me, the thought that you're all thinking now, why are we going to listen to a civil servant at an entrepreneurship festival? How long until this guy gets off stage so we can finally listen to Gary Vee? I had the same feeling. Those of you in the entrepreneurial community know me as the angel investor, co-founded a few companies. I go on about the importance of corporate governance. But to the most of you, I'm the executive chairman of the Department of Government Relations of Sharjah. So I, so I called Sheikh Abadur. And I said, uh, Sheikh, please. If, if I'm going to speak at Seth, can I be honest? And she said, sure. I said, no, I, can I be honest in my speech? And she said, Fahim, as, as long as you're genuine, say what you want. So here it goes, three stories, a speech that will probably shorten my life in government, but I ask you to do one thing. Put down your phones. Put them away. My revenue is not determined by social media engagement. Save your batteries for Gary Vee. I want you to listen. I was asked to join the government of Sharjah in, in 2014. His Highness the ruler called me and said, Fahim, please come and set up 
the Department of uh, Government Relations, the International Office of Sharjah. And I did. I left my job in Abu Dhabi and, and I moved to Sharjah. And at the same time, we had appointed an executive director of the department. And I sat him down, and I won't forget my first meeting with him. I said to him, it's my job to make sure you will take my job. You will run this department. And he said to me, full honesty, but Fahim, what will you do? And I thought to myself, well, I had a decade in strategy and corporate governance. I'll get another job. But the perception was that with an appointment at senior levels of government, I had made it. I was done. I peaked at the age of 30. I wouldn't have the opportunity to one day leave government and go start the corporate advisory I've always wanted to start. The perception that that was the goal. The second story has to do where I started my career. It was over 10 years ago, I applied like Nejla to a top-tier management consulting firm and I got in. And at the time in the UAE, there were four of us. Sheikh Majtoum bin Bati, Saif Ghobash, who now heads Abu Dhabi Tourism and Culture, Hadi Badri, who's now Chief Strategy Officer of Iman, and myself. We were the only ones in management consulting. And we all left. And I thought about why we left, and I thought about my decision when I left seven years ago, eight years ago now. And the truth was, and this part I really ask you not to film, the truth was, I worked on a project for a minister. This person is no longer a minister. And I was put on the project as a 22-year-old analyst on one condition. Fahim is not allowed to speak to any employees in the ministry, and we would prefer if he doesn't wear kendora when he comes to the client office. Because God forbid we were listening to our own. Because when we pay for consulting, we want people in suits to fly in from abroad and give us best practice. So I left. I left consulting. Went off, I learned Arabic. I learned Arabic later in my life. I went, I got a degree in political economy. And I continued in my career and, I, and, and you know, very thankful for the opportunities. But the third story is the biggest backhanded compliment I get every time I meet somebody new. Fahim, you are so intelligent for an Emirati. I'm sorry? Are my abilities contextualized by my nationality? Are my aims limited by the borders of this country? By the region? Think about this for a minute. You see, I run the International Office of Sharjah, and we recently went to Boston. And with us was Khalid Al-Hurimel from BIA. BIA is one of the world's leading environmental services companies. And we arrived and we were sitting with the mayor's office of Boston. Boston, Harvard, Stanford, Boston. And we were sitting in, in the mayor's office talking to them about our achievements with waste. How Sharjah will be zero waste to landfill by 2020. They were impressed. They said to us, Fahim, we want to learn more. 
Boston can, Boston can learn from Sharjah. And yet, when we came back, the local newspapers wrote, Sharjah went to Boston to learn. We went to Boston to get best practice. The political economy of the entrepreneurial system in this part of the world is limited by that. We have an inferiority complex. Mohammed Al-Abbar just highlighted that we have just a large as consuming population as Europe and the US. The GCC has 50 million people, the UK has 80. You don't say, uh, you hear us saying he's very intelligent for a Brit. Another thing that I notice very often is that our leadership wasn't limited by this inferiority complex. Because they understand we have all of the components of an ecosystem to succeed. Our investments in education, smartest people in the world, they're here. Infrastructure, it's here. Capital, it's here. I'm going to give you a thought. If His Highness, Dr. Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, limited himself and contextualized what he wanted to do by the borders of this country, AUS and the University of Sharjah would be a small office. If our leadership limited, this would be good for an Emirati, we wouldn't have three leading global airlines, the best ports in the world. If Mohammed Al-Abbar limited his view, Burj Khalifa would be 30 stories high. But in the entrepreneurial community, we're great for the Emirates. We're great for the region. I have met uh, Magnus and Mudassar from Karim, and every entrepreneur I speak to says to me very simply, Fahim, we want to be the next Karim. Why? They're the Uber of the Middle East. Nobody calls them a leading ride-hailing technology globally. They call them the Uber of the Middle East. And the opportunities that I see to invest in are, we're going to do this, in the Middle East. I have a huge amount of respect for Karim. They push the boundaries, they raise the bar, they shed light on the opportunity to invest and that entrepreneurship and technology can be born out of this part of the world. But when I left management consulting, I had a, a mentor, the partner that, that sort of looked over my progress, Robert, his name was. And as I left, he said, Fahim, why are you leaving the firm? I said, it's nothing, nothing wrong with the firm. I just need to prove myself on home turf. And he said to me, promise me one thing. Don't get comfortable. Don't get complacent. And that drives me every day I wake up. So my message to you, the entrepreneurial community, entrepreneurs, the private sector, and the government, is don't get complacent and don't get comfortable. Let's raise the bar. Let's dare to be different, not for the UAE, but for the world. Thank you very much.